hi I know I'm so sorry for not posting any videos for the past week last weekend I went to visit my sisters in East Coast we spent two days there Saturday and Sunday Hi. 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 It's good to be back. I know it's been a while. Last week I didn't post anything except for the Friday. And yesterday I'm supposed to upload another video for one minute Friday, but I haven't done it. I'm not gonna give any excuse. Actually, in our life, there are two things it's either you want to do it or you don't want to do it. And there is no right or wrong about it. If you want to do something else, then you will not be doing something else. So it depends on your priority at that time. In this episode, I will share with you three YouTubers that I've been following since last year. The first YouTuber that I followed is Casey Neistat. At this point of time, he has 11 million subscribers. Previously, he was a filmmaker. He had his, his own episode on HBO in 2000, maybe 2000 or 2010. I can't remember, you can just Google it. So, what I like about him is that uh, the way he shoot his vlog, he make it very easy and very simple he's, he's not the one that will show a very uh, technical aspect of vlogging but in reality to produce his vlog it takes a skill technical knowledge and also a good storytelling technique the way he produces his vlog, it looks very simple, it looks very easy, and it looks... It inspires you to, to vlog as well. But the reality is, it is not that simple. The finished product is always look very smooth, very easy, you feel like you can do it. The fact is, there are a lot of efforts that need to be put in behind the scene in order to come up with this walk. To me, the most important thing is you need to have a passion in videography because it is a very tedious job when it comes to editing. My second favorite YouTuber is Peter McKinnon. Come on, come on, please get this right. Uh, yes, uh, he has almost 4 million subscribers 4 million subscribers So what I like about Peter is that First is he is very good at storytelling He is very good at storytelling The way he, he tells his story in his vlog is very engaging uh, Very interesting It makes you want to watch more For me, Peter McKinnon is very technical in terms of his vlog. He's very structured. His style is different compared to Casey. Casey looks very easy, relaxed. And his B-roll, wow, very nice, very cinematic, very, very artsy. Uh, maybe one day I will talk about B-roll. And my third favorite YouTuber is Meti Hapoya. Search for it. Meti Hapoya. Is it focus? Yeah. He's Finnish. He lives in Canada. He's sharing his uh, workspace with uh, Peter McKinnon. So they are buddies. Uh, the moment he has around 640,000 subscribers. What I like about Meti is that 
it makes it makes vlogging looks very simple it makes vlogging very easy he inspires people to vlog i think yeah, i have much similarity in terms of my style with Matty. I'm gonna show you one of his video doing a Q&A he posted on Twitter asking for questions and he will create a vlog to answer the questions answer a few of those questions that you guys asked on Twitter because it seemed to be the general consensus to do the Q&A instead of just skipping the upload day. Let's start off with a, a nice little warm-up. Uh, Zul Aziz, uh, Zul Aziz, he asked, what kind of camera mode do I normally use when I'm vlogging? Is it manual mode? Yeah, I basically use everything manual except for autofocus and white balance actually I also have on auto usually just because the situation's changing so much so quickly that I don't usually have a chance. He is reading my question and answering my questions. So there you go, the three favorite YouTubers uh, that I'm currently actively following them whenever they release a new episodes of their vlog. I will straight away watch it because I really like the way they tell the story. They have a different style from Casey to Peter to Mackie. They are all have a different style, but they have one thing in common. They are very passionate about videography, about photography. So there you have it, hope you enjoyed this video, show some love by clicking the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to ring the bell, ring the bell, ring the bell, so that you'll get notified whenever I publish a new vlog, till then, bye.